Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am here with my fourth layout using Studio Calico's um, Poet Society kit from September of 2014. And I am going to be making my Georgia page. And I was super happy to make this because I made it right after Georgia beat Auburn. Sorry to any Auburn fans who are watching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm really not, but I kind of am. Okay. Um, so I was really excited in this kit that I saw that black and white paper there and red cardstock because I immediately thought I could make a Georgia page. I can't do many Georgia pages with my kits because, you know, it's very specific. And I always have to bring in my own stuff, but that's fine. So um, I am using some black cardstock and I'm going to map my picture with that. And then I'm going to mat this paper onto the red cardstock because I think it kind of needs a border. It's very, very busy and it goes right off the page. So I didn't want it to, you know, I needed to ground it a little bit. So I just cut off about a quarter of an inch and um, I'm going to ink it with my stays on. I'm just going to run my ink pad all along the edges there. And that just kind of helps to give it, you know, like a definite cutoff line, <laughs> like the paper is stopping here. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go ahead and mount it on the red cardstock there. And that picture is the most recent picture we took with all of, all of us in our Georgia stuff. That was the first game of this season when we played Clemson, I think. And this is a fabric... G and that came off of a umbrella stroller that we had for a long time for the girls and they both have obviously outgrown it and it was actually kind of broken anyway it was the wheels weren't working very well anymore so um I took the top part of it you know that kind of the part that folds over it had two little flaps that had the G on it so I cut those off and I'm using them on scrapbook pages I used them on a page a while ago too um I think the Aaron Murray page I did I'm pretty sure that's the one that I used the other side of it on um, so I cut it out and then I'm going to use those 2014 numbers. Those are from the transparent alpha pack that came in the kit from Studio Calico. And I'm using a couple of these rub-ons and these came in the kit and those are designed by Shannon Noel for Studio Calico. So I'm putting the white onto the black cardstock so that it kind of stands out. Because if I tried to put the white on that paper, there's no way you wouldn't be able to see anything. So I just stuck them on there and I'm going to fussy cut the arrow a little bit and I think I'm going to leave the hearts as is. So I'm just going to have the arrow down there pointing to the date, to the year, sorry, and have the hearts there on the side. I'm going to use up these red hearts as well. These are puffy hearts from Freckle Fawn that Layla keeps getting into. I think I only have a couple pink left, so I gotta use those up soon too. So I'm gonna use this vellum piece from Doodlebug that came in the kit. Um, I'm gonna use a piece on the bottom there and then a little strip on the top above the picture. So I'm gonna start sticking some stuff down. Um, that paper there is by Studio Calico. The opposite side of the floral part I had used on um, my girls layout for the school layout and um, I'm just using the gingham side which is on the opposite side for this one here. I didn't want anything too bold because the white paper is so bold. <laughs> I didn't really want anything else to be competing with it so I use kind of subtle patterns. So I'm using my pop dots to uh, pop up this fabric and since it is fabric you know I really wanted to make sure it, it stays in place and those do the trick for sure they're not going anywhere I'm gonna stick it right there it kind of helps take up some of the white space in the picture and kind of help cover up the little awkward <laughs> awkward piece there where all the papers meet so I'm using my ATG gun to get these transparent numbers down And the picture, uh, my husband is holding a taco dip 
<laughs> he makes that for the first game every year. And, uh, you know, it's taco dip underneath, and then, like, the red part is tomatoes, and the black part is olives, and the white part is onions, and, um, and then the bottom of it, you know, is all taco dip. And it's very delicious, and he makes it for the first game every year, so it's awesome. He surprised me with it a few years ago. He wouldn't let me in the kitchen for a while, and then he made it. And um, I loved it so much, and now he makes it every year, so it's pretty awesome. So I got three of those hearts stuck down there and I'm going to accent them with some of these clear gems and it just adds a little bit of something, um, you know, it doesn't scream out at you, but you can, you know, you can tell and you can see them, especially in person. From here it's kind of hard, but when you're looking at the layout you can tell that they're there. What else am I going to do? Um, yes, I have that little tab sticker. And that's just from my stash and um, I'm going to attach it to the top of the picture that's so it's just a little red outline tab there and then I'm going to add our initial on there for S and those letters are from fancy pants I've had those for a while in my stash as well and I'm going to spell out Bulldog Family. I had to really get into my stash with this kit for letters because the only alphabets that, that, that came with it are the, the transparent ones, and they're all gone now. So <laughs> I have a few numbers left that I actually do have some plans for. But, um, you know, I used all of the alphas on that one layout. So um, every other title is going to have to come from my stash, which is honestly is not a bad thing. You know, I need to get through those as well. It's really hard to get through a pack of stickers, like, like a pack of thickers. I didn't realize how hard it really was. <laughs> so, especially when you start running out of letters, so you don't have like a ton left that you can make good words out of. You have to start, you know, kind of getting creative and, um, you know, mix and matching stuff. So, And those are just a nice black, black sticker. I'm trying to get everything straight. For some reason it was looking so crooked to me. <laughs> and take one last look, forgot the eye, the dot on the eye there. <laughs> I'm gonna get that down. <laughs> With my tweezers, because I just could not get it. It's a very small piece there. And that's it. That's going to complete my Georgia layout using a Studio Calico kit. And I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be back again real soon with some more Studio Calico Poet Society pages. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.